Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created to the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's hey! a figment of your imagination. Randy Roadshow. Turn up your mind. Ah! It's now a Category 3 hurricane. It's a major hurricane earlier today, now upgraded just moments ago by the National Hurricane Center to a Category 3. The storm continuing to intensify in the very warm waters here in the western Atlantic. Again, Cat 3. Hurricane hunters are out there as we speak. You can see the storm has now formed a well-defined eye and again continuing to intensify. The moisture-laden environment continues across this area. Moisture. That upper level low that we've been talking about is now here down in Cuba. And that will steer the storm more toward Florida. It all depends on that high pressure system as we continue down the road. But here is the 2 p.m. advisory now from the National Hurricane Center. It is now a major hurricane, category three, winds are 115 miles per hour. The other factor, the storm has slowed down quite a bit today. Yesterday and over the past couple of days, running at 10, 12, 13, even 14 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. Now Dorian is moving at a forward speed of 10. No, oh, no. And unfortunately, that forward speed is forecast to Re to be reduced even more. The storm no. is forecast to slow down quite a bit. More no. about that in just a second. Here's no. the storm as we head towards Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Still east of the oh Bahamas on Sunday, then moving toward Florida as we head toward Monday morning, category oh. four. You can't oh. see the icon there, but it's a category four. Winds at 140 miles per hour. The big concern, not only this hurricane coming our way, but how long it sticks around no. parts of South Florida, if indeed it does hit our area, no. it could be a prolonged period, no. maybe 24 to 36 hours of heavy rain, gusty winds and storm surge across the area. Then the storm continues to make landfall. Here we are Tuesday, 8 no. a.m. No. After that, perhaps going right up the spine of Florida in many respects like Hurricane Irma did two years ago. So again, here no. at 2 o'clock, Tiffany, the headline, we now have a major hurricane. Dorian now a Category 3. We'll have a new updated forecast from the Hurricane Center at 5 o'clock. And the hurricane hunters remain in the storm as we speak. Oh, for God's sake. Like I don't suffer enough over here. All right, so um, it's a sit and spin so far, right, is what it is. Those are the bad ones, the sits and spins. It just sits. Uh, so it slowed down, and that means that we were, <laughs> we were prepared to receive, to receive on Monday. Uh, the incoming has slowed probably Tuesday now, which means Tuesday, Wednesday, sit and spin, Thursday, maybe electricity restored, maybe, I don't know. So um, don't uh, don't email us, don't, because uh, we won't have, we won't be able to, I can, our world in, uh, it, I'm in West Palm, everybody. I'm in freaking West Palm. See that? That's where we are, right? Freaking there is where we are. Um, and so our world is about to get very, very small. Yeah, like uh, no electricity, no internets, uh, no television, uh, battery-operated radio, uh, tuned to I don't know what. Who's even on the radio anymore who will tell us anything? Who's even on the radio? I don't know. Uh, you better have the weather channel on that radio. I will tell you this. Uh, I did uh, Last night I was watching all my neighbors hammer in those uh, freaking hurricane shutters, you know, they're like uh, big aluminum, like uh, big sheets of al aluminum, you know, the stuff that uh, Trump likes to tax. Huh. And they were banging and knocking and doing and putting and ladders and all this. And I, I looked at them and I, they said, do you need some help, Rand? Do you want some help? Because they know uh, pretty much my ladder, you know, uh, my ladder goes to like the top of my pantry. So they said, do you want to borrow the ladder? What do you want to do? Blah, blah, blah. I said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait and see if Jim Cantori, all South Floridians know what I'm talking about. If Jim Cantori from the Weather Channel shows up in Palm Beach International Airport, and if he does, I will, I will uh, board. I will actually put the hurricane shutters up. Well, I saw on Twitter, 
Jim Cantori landed at Palm Beach International Airport. I put my uh, hurricane shutters up this morning. Okay, they're up. Oh, yay, yay for us. Um, and, it, you know, like, look, yesterday was bad enough that I saw Leila Santiago. She did the cur- hurricane coverage for uh, Puerto Rico, which two years later, two years later, this is sick and sad. You know, Puerto Rico went for one year without electricity, pretty much. There are thousands of roads in uh, Puerto Rico that have never been rebuilt. They're still washed out completely. You have like a quarter of the population moved to Florida. I, I just feel so bad because this thing's it might go right up the coast from me to Orlando is about 300 miles you know so uh they could have another uh water event up there i don't know because it's a sit and spin but all i could tell you is uh we'll be back as soon as there is connectivity but for right now this could be our last show for a very stinking long time the only saving grace okay is that we're not puerto rico even though i would say the same kind of uh population speaks spanish here that does in puerto rico yeah, I would say that. Uh, but we're a swing state, and Puerto Rico doesn't vote for president. And Trump has 11 properties here, so I have a little a little more faith in the back end of what will get repaired and how soon and when, right? Than being in Puerto Rico where he doesn't give a damn if you live or die because you can't do anything for him, number one. What could you do for him? You can't vote for him. They don't vote for president over there. And number two, when he did go there, all he did, I mean, what's 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 really memorable about the uh, Puerto Rico trip after Maria? Which, by the way, Maria, 140 mile an hour winds, which is what we're staring down right now. Same thing, except we're not an island. We're only a peninsula. <laughs> we're only surrounded by water on three sides. They were surrounded on all four sides. There's a land bridge. Maybe he can figure out the trucking situation where he could not in Puerto Rico. And the most memorable thing he did in Puerto Rico was throw paper towels. I mean, that was sick and sad and just disgusting. And he praised. Now he's trashing. You know, as this storm was, Dorian, what a stupid name for hurricane. And you know, it's a redo. They always tell you they don't use hurricane names more than once. Oh, yeah, they do. Dorian was a hurricane in 2013 headed for us. Uh, They just, uh, I, I swear, they're recycling. Which, depending on your attitude, is a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. But, um, you know, this is all we'll remember him for in Puerto Rico. Uh, And also that he praised the governor who was run out of office, literally run out of office by his own freaking people because he was a dirty, dirty politician. Now Trump has been tweeting the whole time that Dorian was going uh, by Puerto Rico and was threatening Puerto Rico. He's saying, oh, when will it ever end? And, and uh, you know, these people, they have the most corrupt government ever and blah, 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 right? But then I remembered when he was sitting there with Melania and he was throwing the paper towels that day. I remember him sitting there with Governor Rossello and he was saying what a great, great government he runs and how Rossello is amazing. But I will say your current governor, he has done... He's been amazing. Okay, could I just point out that when he says your current governor, meaning Puerto Rico, he's talking to Geraldo Rivera as if he only sees Geraldo at this moment as a Puerto Rican. Geraldo is not, you know, uh, he's not white enough for Donald Trump. You know, this is like when he talks to Jews and he says, uh, your prime minister, Bibi Netanyahu. Do you know what I mean? This dual loyalty thing runs deep inside this freak. But yeah, he's talking to Geraldo here, praising the governor. Say your current governor, he has done, he's been amazing. Your congresswoman has been absolutely amazing. And the people, uh, I met your state senators and lots of other people, and they've been so thankful. And I think virtually every mayor has been so thankful. I've met many of them this morning. He loved them. He thought they were the best. And now he's saying they had the most... Cr- of course, And the people, remember Puerto Rico? They were out on the street protest and they drove this man to resignation. Remember, remember? Yeah, it's because two years later, there are some, still some parts of Puerto Rico. Well, some parts. 30,000 people in Puerto Rico. Okay, the island, I think, has 4 million people total. 30,000 people in Puerto Rico still have blue tarps as roofs. I hope that's a good look for you. I hope Americans like the blue tarp look because this is what we're about to look like. Go to RandyRoads.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.